Iowa General Fund Monthly Revenue Memo. My name is Jeff Robinson, Senior Fiscal Analyst with the Iowa Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan support agency of the Iowa Legislature. This video covers Iowa General Fund Revenue for fiscal year 2022 year to date. January 31st is one of Iowa's most significant due dates, with income tax withholding and sales tax and use tax quarterly payments, along with fourth quarter individual income tax estimate payments and annual sales and use tax returns all due on that date. Outside of the general fund, the December monthly motor fuel tax payment is also due on January 31st. However, Iowa law automatically moves due dates that fall on a weekend to the next weekday. Last year, January 31st fell on a weekend and the normal deposits for that date were made on February 1st. While this year, the 31st was a Monday. Although this swing in monthly comparisons can occur with every month of the calendar, the size of quarterly due date deposits means the issue only causes significant comparison issues for the due date at the end of January, April, July, and October. For that reason, this video will discuss net general fund receipts through February 2nd. While year-to-date growth through the end of January and on a fiscal year basis as presented on page 2 of the LSA monthly revenue memo shows growth of $636 million and 14.8%. Receipts through February 2nd reflect a more accurate reality of $331 million and 7.1%. This table shows that all three main sources of Iowa general fund revenue have performed well, performed well for fiscal year 2022 with individual income tax up 3.7%, sales and use tax up 10%, and corporate income tax up 6.7%. In addition, the uncategorized receipts remaining in the suspense account that I discussed in the November and December videos was relatively small on February 2nd at $34 million, an amount that is included in this table under fiscal year 2022 net insurance and other taxes. On the subject of the new deposit process instituted by the state in November, process that initially deposits taxpayer payments into an undefined suspense account before, a day or more later, transferring the money to the appropriate revenue category. This chart shows the amount of tax revenue held within the suspense account at the close of each day since November 30th. The chart shows that day to day, an amount between $25 million and $250 million is held in the general fund, uncategorized as to its true revenue source. The red bars on the chart show the suspense account balances at the end of each month, and it is these large amounts of uncategorized revenue that make it newly difficult to know and explain the state general fund condition at the end of each month, and the difficulty is only compounded by the fact that tens of million dollars of these uncategorized tax receipts are actually motor fuel tax payments destined for the road use tax fund. In summary, because of calendar and due date issues compounded by recent accounting process changes, the level of state general fund net receipts through January 31st is not indicative of the real revenue situation for fiscal year 22. But with the exception of relatively low $34 million held in the suspense account, receipts through February 2nd do present a true picture for the fiscal year, and the picture continues to reflect strong economic recovery. Thank you very much for taking the time to study Iowa's general fund revenue situation. Goodbye, thank you, and please check out the next monthly video memo in early March.